Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Public Interest. We're here with a very special guest, the president of the American Bar Association, Laurel Bellows, who also runs the Bellows Law Group in Chicago. Laurel, thanks for being with us. I'm delighted to be here today. Looking forward to our conversation. For those folks who are unaware of what the American Bar Association does and your role in it, please explain what the ABA uh, in, gets involved in. The American Bar Association is nearly 400,000 members worldwide, and we get involved in almost anything that has to do with the law. So we have sections of our American Bar Association that deal with anything from space law, national security, antitrust law, litigation, to teach lawyers how to practice law. And then we get into a lot of public interest advocacy, changing the laws themselves, um, advocating in Congress or in the states as to what the law should be like. We uh, do a lot of pro bono work. We do a lot of public interest work. And right now, um, the American Bar Association is focusing on four major adventures other than what it does every single day. In fact, our motto is defending justice, pursuing liberty. So we do anything that has to do with that. And we have many, many policy positions on basically any piece of legislation relating to the law. However, uh, we're spending a lot of time on the underfunding of our justice system, preserving our democracy, and courts that are closing all over the country. Uh, we're talking about gender equity, gender equality in the workforce, and particularly regarding women lawyers. We are discussing the horrible problem we have in the United States of human trafficking, slavery, modern day slavery in our country. And we are speaking quite a bit about cyber security, small issues. Tell me why, when you only have one year in office, that you've decided to take on all these challenges. And, and for those people who don't realize what the ABA does, I mean, this uh, is this a new direction for the ABA? T tell me a little bit about the history and why you decided to become president. I'm sure you have a lot of other stuff to do in managing your own practice. But you know, why did you decide to take on this role? I love the practice of law. But this role gives me the opportunity to change the world. There's no two ways about that. Finally, let's talk a little bit about uh, your venture out to San Francisco to be a keynote, and you're going to be speaking at a couple of venues. Uh, fill folks in about what you're going to be doing out in the Bay Area. Well, I'm going to be at the Commonwealth Club um, at noon this coming Friday, which is very exciting keynote. Uh, we'll be speaking a lot about the issues we just talked about um, on gender equity and, and anti-trafficking. Talk a little bit about gun violence issues, because California has um, Dianne Feinstein and their senators who have been very much in favor of seeing if there is some way that we can limit violence in this country through use of guns. So we're going to be talking about issues that are California oriented and I'm going to be at Powerful Women International talking about um, to powerful women how to use their power. I'm really looking forward to Saturday uh, at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. I want to ask you one final question, Laurel. Let's face it, lawyers don't always have the best reputation nationally. They are much maligned for running up the meter or getting involved in all kinds of litigation. What can you tell us to maybe, maybe mitigate that a little bit for, obviously there are very few people out there doing what you're doing, uh, but for those people that think lawyers are the bad guy, what can you say to those folks that think, hey, uh, lawyers always have it in for me or for all of us and, and tie us up into all kinds of things that go on for years and years and Robbie, years. Robbie, what a terrible thing to say to me, and how very untrue on every level. So first of all, everybody loves their own lawyer. People dislike lawyers, if they do, all right? If they were smart, they would understand that lawyers are giving millions of hours of pro bono free legal services every single year everywhere in this country. That's number one. Number two, lawyers are the guardians of our democracy. We're the ones that protect our Constitution. We're the ones that go to the Supreme Court of the United States to fight for liberty. We're the ones that fight and look and review every piece of legislation to make sure that it's fair. Lawyers are the ones that are make sure that we have elections that run right and that we have trained poll watchers and that we are a country of rules, right, and not of mobs, and that we have a justice system that works. Right now, the American Bar Association is fighting hard to make sure that our courts stay open because of the economy and the lack of funds. There are legislators that are trying to close our court system so that people don't even have access to justice. So yes, if you are in court on one of the biggest reasons that people go to court, divorce, someone wins, someone loses, everybody's unhappy. Personal injury, someone wins, someone loses, Nobody is really happy. 
traffic court. All right, these are the three places that people show up, right? So they don't like to be in court, they don't like confrontation, and they don't like paying for representation. But businesses, people who we help, the people who are being foreclosed out of their houses and, and lawyers come and help them keep their homes, the people who are getting divorced and can't afford a lawyer, and we make certain that the divorce happens and that the child custody works out okay and the children are protected. How about abused and neglected children that we represent every single day? The trafficking, the human trafficking, representing these poor little kids on the street, we're the ones who are bringing this to the attention of the public, and we are the ones who are trying to solve these problems. Legal Services Corporation, which doesn't mean much to anybody on the street, just that name, that's legal aid. That are, that's lawyers all right, serving the public every single day. So the problem, Ravi, throwing it back at you, is why, doesn't the, why don't the news cover the good things that people do? Why do I always read bad news on the front page? Nobody ever covers all the wonderful things that lawyers do because it doesn't make interesting news. But that's part of the issue. I'm really proud of what we do.